This is how motion tracking is done in Premiere Pro. To begin, we've a mountain biker clip and a speedo overlay that we want to track onto the mountain biker. Let's start by dragging and dropping the clip onto the timeline. Now, this mountain biker clip is full of movement, which makes it perfect for what we want to do. To track the speedo overlay onto the biker, we'll start by creating an ellipse shape around the biker's head using the ellipse tool. Make sure the graphic is the same length as the mountain biker clip. Then, head over to the effect controls panel, click on the shape, and adjust the anchor point to the middle. Next, go to the effects panel and search for the transform effect, double click to add it to your shape. Now, head over to the effect controls and under transform, set starting keyframe on the position by clicking on the stopwatch icon next to it. Let's zoom in preview monitor, so you can see what we're working with more clearly. For this example, we'll go through every few frames forward and detect biker's helmet movements from the clip. Based on the position of helmet we'll change the position of our circle. Doing the same process over and over can get a bit tedious. So, let's speed it up. Play the video through and you'll see that the circle is now nicely tracked to the biker's head. Play the sequence, if it didn't turn out perfectly, you can make necessary adjustments to the position of the circle. Alright, now let's bring in the speedo overlay onto the timeline. To get rid of black background set blend mode to screen. In order to apply the same position data we just tracked, simply copy the same transform effect and paste it onto the overlay. Now obviously, we don't want that circle there anymore, so you can hide the track or just delete it. In my opinion, it would be better to provide keyframe for scale as well. To adjust the position of overlay, using position will mess up our track position, so make sure to use anchor point. By adjusting the scale value based on the distance of the object from the camera, a more accurate and visually appealing result can be achieved. To maintain same distance of rider and speedo overlay, let's set keyframes for anchor points as well. Achieving the same result in After Effects is much easier and simpler with just a few steps. If you want me to show you how, just drop a comment and let me know. And hey, if I get more than 4 requests, I'll definitely make a separate video on this topic too.